Alright, so hello everybody, welcome back to uh, the channel and to another uh, Jones Aviation video. So today I'll show you how to start up the uh, Zebo 737 on X-Plane. So, uh, this is the X-Plane today, we're on a TUI. A TUI flies as a European one, um, as you can see it's the German Reg. Um, but it, it's, it's a really good high quality of the so I thought I'd choose this one for today. And um, also I do have some custom camera views set up in this aircraft as well. So it's just a bit easier for me to zip around and uh, show how to set up the aircraft. So, uh, when we're in the cold, this is the state called cold and dark. Um, because you can say everything's dark and it's cold and stuff and all that stuff. So, um, first of all, what I like to do um, when we've got it in this state, I go to ground service to set the shock because reasons. Uh, connect to GPU, so GPU connect. And then, so once we've got those two in red, we can go up here. Press to cover down on the battery switch and then press ground power. And then once we've got ground power on, that's we've got the power to the aircraft. And then what I'd do is I'd uh, close cover for the emergency lights, that turns it on. And then what I do, I'd go over to um, the electrics panel just over here, click these two switches down, so we've got four down like that. Um, and then we should see the screen starting to come on and um, all that sort of stuff. We get all the screens lit up. But, um, and then we have to align the IRS, um, and that's basically tells us where we are in the world. So, um, for quickness of this video, uh, what I'm going to do uh, on the tablet, you go to customize or configure, which is what I usually do, realism, and then I put the align time to short, just for the sake of this video. Um, oh, yeah, just put that to, to short, and then that aligns it in about a minute, so then you go back like that. And, uh, so what we're going to do seven... If you do want to know how to um, do these uh, little quick camera um, zip arounds, go check out Pillow Pilot's video on it. Uh, link will be uh, in the comments, pinned comments or in the description. Uh, see you later. Go check out that video and uh, yeah, I'll teach you how to do everything. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, so now we've got the IRS aligning. Um, we wait for that. Let's just turn the window heat on and then the window heat. A lot of the pro piece. So turn the window heats on there, and we can. Um, so once you've done all that, let me just uh, go and start the APU. The APU will supply power for us uh, from the aircraft, so we need to rely on ground power. So we go to on, then hold it for five seconds. Five. There we go, and then back to on. So we just hold it down with the click button. Or why are these landing lights on? They should be on. Uh, we'll need to turn on the anti-collision lights on. Um, that's what I usually do when I'm on the gate. And uh, if you're not refueling the aircraft, uh, select the seatbelt signs to on, not spoken to auto, like that. Um, oh, just move that to there. And as you can see, the IRS uh, lines, uh, lights are now flashing. So the way we do this is we go down to the FMC. It'll say enter IRS position, press clear. Until clear a few messages, go to FMC. Go to pause in it, and then type in the air, uh, the airport. This is how I usually do it. I don't think it's the, the right way to do it, but uh, it didn't work the other way. So I usually I'd go Echo Golf Charlie Charlie, which is the airport we're at. Whether your airport, I just type the code in. So if you're at Miami K M I A or Gatwick E G K K, um, and then you want to move that into Ref Airport like that. And this little coordinate thing comes up here. So the way you copy and paste in a plane is you click the button. Of whichever side it's on, so like that, and it goes to there. And then you want to move it into set IRS pos, like that. And if you look up here, it all aligned everything. All the navigational displays come on, and uh, that's basically just what you do um, to align the IRS. So then moving up here, um, as you can see, the APU has started. It goes up to there and then comes back. And this little light here will come on. It's a APU gen off bus, which you don't need to worry about that. And you want to, what you want to do is you want to click the, the two middle switches down. So that'll transfer the, the uh, power over to the APU. So now we can turn the external power off like that. And now the aircraft is supplying its own power. So what I'll have to do now is um, switch this to battery or TR1. And then switch this to APU gen. So that'll give us the most amount of power. Then we can go switch on the yaw damper, um, and that'll be a whole another video to explain what that is. 
Um, but yeah, so then what I want to do, I want to turn on the APU bleed just there, start the engines in a bit. And then, um, let's just put that to auto, there we go. Um, I'll put the uh, some air conditioner, it's quite warm, let's put cold air conditioner on, there we go. And that also helps with the uh, pressurization of the aircraft. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to put all the, the your respective fuel pumps on. So I've got the main tanks on because only the main tanks have got fuel in them. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's really it to be honest um, for that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the pushback. Uh, if you haven't got better pushback yet, go on to GitHub or somewhere and download it. It's a great mod. It pushes your back. So if we just uh, so let's say we're here, we can. Uh, See where you want to go, so we just move the mouse wheel to where, like the angle. You go back, and then we roll, scroll backwards to turn, and then we line it up with the taxiways. Click it, and then hit enter. That's it. And uh, let's just go ahead and check the. Oh, you probably didn't see that then, so. But, uh, let's go check the current uh, Matar for Manchester. I use that spy usually uh, to check the meter. Uh, so we go over to the airport and then it gives you a sort of uh, a meter. So let's go right click, go to the Charlie meter. And we've got QNH1011. So we close that. And we put QNH. One zero one one. That's it. There we go. So now we can uh, go ahead and request pushback. So we go to plugins, better pushback. Start pushback. And whilst he's driving up, uh, what I usually like to do, if I'm on an open stand like this and there's no one around, uh, let's go release the chocks because we don't need them anymore. Um, what we can do is we can go and start the engines. So to start the engines, what you need to do, you need to make sure you've got the APU on. The APU bleed on and the packs are off because the 737 is weird and it likes the packs off when the engine is starting. Um, i would made that mistake for like years and I didn't know what had happened and um, yeah. So what you're going to do to start the engines, you go over to this to pay, uh, the panel called engine start. Oh. And then if we want to start engine one, just move the selector to GRD. Move that to both just for not the next. So you want to do that, and then you look down at this panel and you see the uh, the engine rising. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. When it gets to 25, uh, you want to put the fuel in. So it'll go 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, engine fuel goes in, and engine comes alive. Engine spinning. So that's uh, how you start an engine. That's good to turn on the right of the uh, uh, the uh, switches. I'm not going to turn up the brightness of that. Everything looks good to me. Uh, once the engine is started, I can set the generator on. So, I'm going to start the pushback. I'm going to start engine 2. So we go GRD, look down there, the engine uh, is rising. Now, I would do, um, I would show you how to put the flaps on in, but it would take too long of a video. Um, and it would take ages to upload to YouTube because it would be such a big video. So that will be in a different video, we need to put the fuel in. Uh, that'll be in a different video to come later this uh, this month or later this summer holidays and all that stuff. So uh, now we're pushing back. It'll be sort of a start up and take off video this week because I want to show you how to take off. Um, we set that to three thousand. So we're just going to climb up to three thousand really. So um, yeah, so we're going to do flight directors both on. Oh, let's set the speed. Let's go to thirty knots. I'm also going to show you how to do an auto throttle takeoff in the in the Boeing. Um, so with the Zevo mod, um, for some reason when I arm the spoilers, uh, the take of config goes mad at me. So I'm not going to do that for this flight just because it, it's 
the take of config and warning is so annoying. Um, so yeah, but we're not going to arm the spoilers uh, take off. So now we've got both engines uh, running, we can hit the two outer switches and then that comes on. Turn off the APU, turn off the APU bleed, packs to auto, and then the engines are sort of supplying most of the, of the power to the aircraft. Well, all the power. So, uh, what we're going to do now, I haven't put in the V1 speeds and all that, so that stuff, I haven't got a flight plan. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set the flaps to three, so we can have a look at the flaps going down there. There they go. Operation complete. Parking brake. Parking brake set. Toes, Taxi lights on. Uh, seven, uh, three, seven. Looking lovely. I'm just going to go to the thumbnail picture, probably. To the seven three seven cockpit. There we go. Disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. There we go. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, start taxiing to the runway and um, yes, yeah, so thirty two. So we release the parking brake. Parking brake released. We applied a small amount of power. It's about that much. That's good. That'll get us rolling, make sure we've got our taxi lights on. Uh, if you're on vaccine, we called up for ATH for fed taxi clearance. Not like I've ever taxied about a few metres before and not much for taxi clearance. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to set the course just for reasons. Two, three, three, there we go. Oh, I love the power. Been a bit too fast for my liking. Well, I'm just, oh, I need to put the yoke back there, don't I? So. I need to make sure that, uh, just go to hardware, your, it's on your, just so I get, so I can use my rudder pedals, make sure that's on your if you're having the same problem. I was steering. So, <clears throat> now what we need to do is let's just taxi up to the runway, put that to rejective takeoff, RTO. I'm not the best at taxiing, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not my... Uh, it's not my sort of area of knowledge, but you know. So if you're wondering uh, what uh, hardware I'm using uh, to move this aircraft, uh, I've got uh, Thrustmaster uh, rudder pedals. Um, TCA side stick, uh, TCA throttle quadrant, that's why I've got the, the two throttle axis. Um, so yeah, it's a really good sort of um, system that runs really well together. Um, especially with flying the Airbus on Microsoft Flight Sim, it was great that is. Um, but anyway, well, let's, let's line up uh, on mic 1, uh, which is the, the, the second to last uh, entrance point for 2-3 right. So, let's just uh, make sure we're on idle power. And round the corner. Strobe lights coming on. 
Uh, all these lights coming on. Uh, taxi lights. There we go. Landing lights. I'm not sure if, if I'm supposed to put the runway turn off lights on. That's, that's the thing. If, if you know any better, just uh, let me know if anyone knows. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to line up on the runway, obviously. And some people don't know this. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're right not to like. But if you go arm thrust and then go N1, take off, the thrust goes up automatically and will stay like that. And I'm not even touching the, the throttles, I haven't touched the throttles at, at all during this takeoff. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, there we go. So then it'll, it'll set the power to a specific takeoff thrust. It's, it's like flex in an air, but also, I suppose, um, but it's Boeing style. So we go 130 knots, 140 rotate, that's the usual rotation speed for 737 of this weight. Um, get up to about 10 degrees, gear up, gear travel. 400. Um, gear up, there we go. Climb at a, st a steady rate, about 15, f uh, 15 degrees maybe. Uh, we can put the flap. Oh no, not good. That is, uh. Oh. Right, uh, sorry about that. My X plane just proceeded to, uh, crash. So, um, yeah, if you, if you did enjoy the video, if it did give you some sort of, uh, insight to how to start the Boeing 737 Zebra mod, uh, that, that's, um, that would have helped me out a lot to, uh, to know that I've, um, I've given someone some help on how to do something. Um, it just made me feel a bit better. Uh, I don't know why. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, there should be a link to Pillow Pilot's channel on the screen about now or something. I don't know. Um, on the right top thing, just up there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, check out his channel. Uh, please do subscribe to his channel. We need to build him his channel up um, so that he can uh, get to at least 100 subscribers by the end of the term sort of thing. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, please do subscribe if you're new. I hope you're happy to see you again.